So this lesson is on volumes of revolution uh, using the disk method. So uh, as you can see to the left, I have a plot of f of x, which is a continuous function that is positive. Um, uh, we have it graphed for uh, between a and b, and you see that I um, have a planar region um, that is shaded, and uh, what we want to do is we want to rotate that planar region about the x-axis to construct a solid region. And what we want to do is we want to compute the volume of that solid region. And if you recall from the discussion previously, uh, what we do is we basically take a representative rectangle um, that is perpendicular to the x-axis. We take that representative rectangle, rotate it about the x-axis, and construct the disk, which is a right circular cylinder. And that right circular cylinder has area, or has volume, sorry, pi r squared times h, or w, as I used previously. And so using that basic um, uh, formula for volume, pi r squared h, we can basically construct a sum that ultimately, if we take a limit, leads to an integral. And here is the integral that computes volume of a solid region. It's pi times an integral from a to b of f of x squared, where the f plays the role of a radius, and dx is that width. So now our first example is a pretty basic example. So um, the example is uh, consider y equals x squared between where x ranges between 0 and 2. And let's plot at least this uh, little bit of x squared in the plane. So this is the y-axis, this is x-axis. This is not going to be to scale. So we have a quadratic And so we're going to take this planar region, rotate it about the x-axis to construct uh, something that looks like a cone. It's, it's not quite a cone, uh, but it looks similar to a right circular cone. Um, I, I'm not going to do any 3D figures here. I'll, I'll let you uh, rely on the figures that are in the book uh, to actually see these solid regions. So um, we can set up the interval quite easily. Uh, the volume of the solid that we obtain if we uh, rotate this region about the x-axis. So the volume is equal to pi times an integral from 0 to 2. The function is x squared, which we want to square, dx. And so if we simplify the expression inside the integral, x squared squared is x to the 2 times 2, which is 4. And antiderivative is easy in this case. It's 1 fifth, so we have a pi over 5, x to the fifth. Limits of integration are 0 and 2. And of course, if we plug in 0, we don't get anything. If we plug in 2, we get 32 fifths times pi. So this is the volume of the solid region that we would obtain if we took this planar region and rotated about the x-axis. So as a second example of computing uh, a volume of revolution using the disk method, consider the function y equals secant x uh, for x between minus pi over 4 and pi over 4. So uh, we'll, we'll plot the function. So the function secant, secant is basic is the reciprocal of cosine, um, and it looks like the following. So if we have our y and x axis, there are vertical asymptotes at minus pi over 2 and pi over 2. So I'll draw these vertical asymptotes. Um, I'll, I'll label at least this asymptote with x equals pi over 2. The other asymptote is minus pi over 2. Um, so the plot, so secant of 0 
Well, it's cosine of 0, reciprocal of that. Cosine of 0 is 1, so secant of 0 is also 1. And so we have a point that's right on the, the y-axis. And from there, secant actually uh, forms this u-shape. So it forms a u-shape where it asymptotes as uh, x approaches pi over 2 from the right. And um, it also uh, approach, uh, goes off to infinity as x approaches minus pi over 2 from, I'm sorry, uh, the, the graph of secant will approach positive infinity as x approaches pi over 2 from the left, and it also approaches positive infinity as x approaches minus pi over 2 from the right. Okay, so now let me mark off minus pi over 4 and pi over 4. So now I will shade the region that we are going to rotate about the x-axis to construct a solid object, and we will compute the volume of that solid object. So picture that planar region rotating about the x-axis. We get a three-dimensional solid object that has volume, and to compute the volume, we use our formula. So volume is pi times an integral, in this case, from minus pi over 4 to pi over 4, secant squared x dx. So this is the integral that we need to compute. And this is a pretty easy integral, as long as you know the antiderivative of secant squared. Uh, and that antiderivative is tangent. So this equals pi times tangent of x where limits of integration are minus pi over 4 and pi over 4. And so this equals pi times tangent of pi over 4 minus tangent of minus pi over 4. And so the tangent of pi over 4, well, um, pi over 4 is 45 degrees, tangent of 45 degrees, so we're in the first quadrant. Sine and cosine are the same, so we have 1. Uh, tangent of minus pi over 4, now we're in the second quadrant, and tangent is minus 1. So we get this equals pi times 1 minus a minus 1, and this equals 2 pi. So that would be the volume of the solid object that's constructed if we take this planar region and rotate it about the x-axis.